so the conversation that I didn't hear was big data. You didn't, I don't think you used that word once, big data, but that's a big discussion in the industry right now. What do you do with the big data, the Yahoo's, the Facebook's, the, I mean, they're throwing off a ton of data. I mean, so big data being, you know, could be the Hadoop movement, for example, but companies have huge data. How, how do you talk about that big data framework relative to what you guys are uh, announcing today? You know, it's kind of funny because you say, how do we respond to big data? Usually a lot of people <laughs> categorize are. us as big data <laughs> yeah, okay. only, you know? Yeah, yeah. We are big data. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And so, it's assumptive, I guess. I, I'm, well, no, I'm glad that people are starting to consider us because the nice thing about VSP is it's very expandable. You can start very small. You can start with a shell of virtualization. Do you know that today some people use our virtualization just to move their own competitor storage? They'll put in a VSP or um, our own USP VM yeah. just as a virtualizer, just to be able to move and migrate data between EMC boxes because they can't do it. So this whole idea around big data like Yahoo, Yahoo's one of our biggest, fastest growing accounts right now. The idea of this content platform is very striking to them. The ability to actually index data, be able to search data across application. I think we're not emphasizing that enough. That all of a sudden, remember how you access data today. You have to access it in the silo it was created in. That was the federated search concept, right? Now we break all that apart and you say, oh, now I have data stored and indexed across all these applications, independent of the media, and now information mining becomes available. So you can see it's, where the it changes the data comes. warehouse business. I mean, the business intelligence and the data warehouses are being disrupted big time by this new vision, and or uh, enhancing them. Okay, so it's what I'm hearing though, Jack, is so your play there is you don't have to own the database. You just want to be the best storage for that data warehouse. Well, and, and you're you're linking between intelligent storage and intelligent data. So right now, what it is is you could almost consider us the data warehouse for all objects. How's that? But you're never going to have that middle layer of the data um, data warehouse anymore. You're basically storing it inside the infrastructure. Every single object is going to be stored and it's going to be indexed. Not only the properties, but the actual content that sits in that object.